everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make double chocolate muffins. So now we're going to get going with the recipe. We're going to start with one egg. We're going to put one egg in there and then we're going to put a three, two thirds of a cup of milk, two thirds of a cup of milk with the egg and then we're going to put 100 grams of yogurt, plain yogurt, we're going to add into a bowl here, like that, and then we're going to add a cup of sugar, and we're also going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, I have here the natural vanilla, should have opened it earlier, sorry about that, half a teaspoon, like that, and now we're going to mix that all together, like that, see? So after mixing this all together really well, <clears throat> now we're going to add the dry ingredients. I'm going to add 220 grams of Flour. I use unbleached flour, so I just sift it through like this. It goes pretty fast. And then I'm going to add the cocoa powder. I use Hershey's cocoa powder there. And I'm going to add 67 grams of the Hershey's cocoa powder. Like that. And I'm going to just shake this back and forth. It goes, like I say, it goes really fast. Fast and easy. So now I'm going to add very important ingredients and that is baking powder. So I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of baking powder like that and I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. This is the baking soda. And then it calls for a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to I use um, Himalayan salt. I don't use the regular salt. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're going to mix that all really well together. And I'm just going to mix it by hand. If you have a mixer, electric blender, not blender, but electric mixer go ahead that probably works really well too so here you can see uh, the ingredients got really really thick here and now I need to use a spoon I need to get all this off and then continue with the spoon like I say electric mixer probably makes it easier but today I'm just doing it by hand so now I'm going to add the last ingredients, and these are Hershey's chippets. Yep, chippets. And it calls for one and a half. So I'm not going to put all of it in, maybe half of it in, like that. And the other half, we're going to put on top later. So we're going to mix that. So the dough is pretty thick. I'll show it to you. And you know, the dough. I tried with my finger. Tastes really good already. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty thick. And you just stir that in a little bit. And then we're going to take an ice cream scoop and scoop it into our muffin form there. And this makes 12 muffins. Okay, everyone. I have a little confession to make. I have not tried this recipe before, but so far it seems to be going really good. And the dough, like I say, uh, I tried it with my finger and it tastes really good so far. I found my ice cream scoop, so now I can start putting the portions of this double chocolate muffin dough into the cupcake forms. I mean, uh, well, whatever you want to call it, cupcake muffin form. Uh, I usually use it for muffins, 
Now this is hanging on the side. So it's working pretty good with this ice cream scooper here. I'm just scooping in there and putting it in each one. It seems to be working out really good. some more of these tippets on top like that. And in the meantime, I preheated the oven at 350 on bake. And I'm just carefully put some on top and then I'm just gonna press down on it after. Just like that. I'm just gonna take a, a spoon here and Press these tippets a little bit evenly into the dough there. And then I can put it in the oven. My oven is now ready. I preheated at 350 and I'm going to put it in for 25 minutes. So I'm going to put it in now. Set my timer at 25 and we'll see how that works. So I'm going to see if the muffins are done. Get them out. Oh, out dry and they're done wonderful they look so delicious so I recommend after five to ten minutes that you take each one out to cool down put it on the rack because it gets very sweaty Here having my cup of coffee with my muffin I just want to show you that the paper doesn't come off really easy here it's sticky because there was no oil or butter if I do this recipe again I'm going to add 100 grams of butter and the muffin is very dense so I would also add 200 grams of yogurt instead of just 100 grams, but it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. it tastes very good. Like I say, next time I'm going to alter this recipe. I've never done it before, and I just thought I'd try it out with you all. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video.